Hey, how's it going? Today we are in Denton, Texas, and I'm gonna meet up with Mark Latiri at Jupiter House for a little coffee and a little conversation, and then we're gonna go over to Panhandle House, write a song, and then play it just for you. My name is Kirk Thurman, and this is Locals. Welcome to Denton. Some people may not think of this Texas town when music comes to mind, but let's face it, they should. Home to one of America's most prestigious conservatories, host to a bounty of touring musicians from all walks, a passionate community of creatives and artists with just as much energy and inspiration as America's largest cities. Texas is where I started my career as a musician. Right. You know, I grew up in California in the Bay Area and, um, my experience there was just as a lover of music. Sure. There wasn't really a way of quantifying how to make it a job sure. or anything like that. It was just soaking up sounds and yeah. bands and artists and stuff that it just I loved about guitar. I'd, I'd learned enough about the music industry to where I kind of could see myself being a working member of it. Right. You know. I want you to tell me what it what it's been like to, to get into that group and kind of like the wild ride um, yeah. of being a Snarky Buddy member. I was around early enough, both as an active member, but also just as a, as a fan to kind yeah. of see how things changed. A sure. Lot, you know, I mean, I definitely slept on my fair share of floors, yeah. couches, and <laughs> hotel yeah. rooms with six other guys. Yeah, for sure. You know, <laughs> coming home with no money. I mean, I remember one tour I think we were out in California and we would do well in big markets like we went and played the Troubadour in LA and I had a packed house you know and That's then amazing. like two days later we were in Flagstaff Arizona playing to less people than were in the band so who makes up um, like the group of guys that you play with well um Usually, if I'm playing live, it's uh, Jason Thomas on drums, Wes Stevenson on bass, um, a keyboard buddy of mine named Daniel Porter has yeah. been playing with us. So I usually play either as a trio or a quartet. Uh, Braylon Lacey plays bass with me sometimes. Oh, yeah, that uh, guy's Tehran Lockett plays drums yeah. with me. Um, Bobby Sparks and Sean Martin have done a bunch of keyboard stuff. Which, uh, every, every single one of the guys you just named. Yeah, are, I mean, they're all monsters. like... Monsters. Yeah, and, it's, and they all are right down the street. Exactly, You know, like, exactly. why would I want to not have that? Like, I can tell when I see you guys play together that you've just got a good group of guys. Talented yeah. enough. Well, you know what I mean? It's like, nobody want, you don't want to play music with people you don't like. Right. It's just a benefit <laughs> if they're also, like, super badass and stuff. Exactly. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, these guys are my friends, first and foremost. It, it listens, like, I hear it as a collaboration. Yeah. Good. Yeah, I mean, you know, I and I write with certain musicians in mind. Sure. Sometimes, like, the, the... I feel the, that. The latest project I did has... Uh, 14 different people on I, I don't remember but I had a lot of features yeah um, but as I was composing the tunes I was hearing all these different friends of mine yeah thinking like okay who can bring what into her so that's right um, I think that's a good way to be like if you can envision the song almost based around who you can hear in it then you're gonna get that really cool cohesive performance yeah sure you know bro I want to thank you again uh, my pleasure for meeting up and work with me today um so we're gonna head over to Panhandle House and, uh, and see what we can come up with. Yeah, bro. Right? Dude, this was fun. Good to see Thank you, bro. You, man. All right, Absolutely. let's do it. Shaking, hold on to 
Oh, sure. 